Judge Judy reveals biggest regret in her nearly 60-year career in law. Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Hope you all are enjoying, so let's begin. Judge Judy has accomplished a lot in her lifetime, but there's one thing she regrets about her career, and it's something many never would have guessed. Judy Scheindlin, better known as Judge Judy, always knew she wanted to be involved with the law. After graduating from James Madison High School in New York, she went on to American University in Washington, D.C., where she majored in government. Following her time in the nation's capital, she returned to New York to pursue a law degree. She graduated in 1965 and passed the state bar the same year. She was hired shortly after graduation as a corporate lawyer for a cosmetic firm. But within two years, she realized the life of a corporate lawyer was not for her, and she left her job. By 1972, she switched roles yet again and worked as a prosecutor for New York's family court system. After making a name for herself in the court system, the mayor, Ed Koch, appointed her as a criminal court judge, and within four years, she was promoted to supervising judge within the Manhattan Division of Family Court. By the early 1990s, her no-nonsense attitude in New York began attracting nationwide attention. Scheindlin appeared in the Los Angeles Times in 60 Minutes, and from there her career in television took off. During her run, Shandlin was offered a cameo in the 2001 movie, Legally Blonde. They reached out through someone and said, We'd like you to be the judge, she told E! News. The 81-year-old didn't specify why she declined the cameo, but did say it was the biggest mistake in her career. Not playing that part in that movie. Sometimes you have to take the adventure and run with it, she add. Jerry Scheindlin, a prominent figure in the legal realm and the husband of the beloved television personality Judge Judy, has carved his path in the legal profession. As the spouse of one of the most iconic judges in television history, Jerry Scheindlin's life and career are equally fascinating. Let's delve into the details and explore who Jerry Scheindlin is. Born on November 19, 1933 in New York City, Jerry Scheindlin grew up in a world that would eventually become the backdrop for his legal career. His passion for the law led him to pursue a law degree, earning a J.D. from the University of Miami School of Law. His educational background laid the foundation for a distinguished career in the legal field. Jerry Scheindlin's legal career is notable, marked by his service as a judge. He initially gained recognition as a criminal court judge in New York, where his commitment to justice and legal expertise became evident. His experiences on the bench contributed to his reputation as a fair and knowledgeable legal professional. While Jerry Scheindlin's legal career set the stage for his professional identity, he gained widespread recognition through his television appearances. Notably, he served as the judge on the People's Court from 1999 to 2001, adding a televised dimension to his legal expertise. His charismatic and no-nonsense approach resonated with audiences, contributing to the show's success during his tenure. One of the most defining aspects of Jerry Scheindlin's personal life is his marriage to Judith Scheindlin widely known as Judge Judy. The couple's union, marked by shared values and mutual respect, has become a celebrated partnership. Their marriage has not only stood the test of time, but has also captured the public's affection, making them one of television's beloved couples. After his tenure on the People's Court, Jerry Scheindlin shifted his focus to retirement and philanthropy. While he enjoys a quieter life away from the television spotlight, he and Judge Judy have been actively involved in charitable endeavors, contributing to causes that align with their values. Jerry Scheindlin's legacy extends beyond his legal career and television appearances. His commitment to justice, combined with a candid and straightforward approach, has left a lasting impression. Known for his quick wit and sharp intellect, Scheindlin embodies the principles of fairness and integrity. Judge Judy handed down a verdict on the matter of what she thinks makes her marriage of nearly 47 years with her husband work. The court show arbitrator whose real name is Judy Scheindlin, spoke about her marriage to husband Jerry Scheindlin in a recent interview with E! News. According to the 81-year-old Judy Justice star, spending all hours of the day with your main squeeze can amount to suffocation, and allowing them to notice you're attracted to them is also, as the judge says, key. You don't spend 24 hours together because that's deadly, the no-nonsense judge told E! News. Jerry just celebrated his 90th birthday and I still like to look at him when he walks in the room. That's a key. The relationship between the couple is a reminder that marriages have ups and downs. Judy and Jerry Scheindlin divorced for a brief period in the 90s. Read on for how they got together and what she's shared about marriage. 
Juby and Jerry Scheinlin have been married since 1977, according to People. According to the Los Angeles Times, the couple met at a bar. I just finished trying a murder case as a defense lawyer, Jerry Scheinlin recalled of their first time meeting. She was a prosecutor. There was a reporter from the New York Post there at the bar, and I was speaking to him about the case. Judy came walking in and put her finger in my face and said, And who is this? I said, Lady, beat your finger out of my face. We've been together ever since. In 1999, he joined the People's Court as the show's president judge after his wife ruled in favor of him taking on a television job. She is the one who told me I should do it, Jerry Scheindlin told the newspaper. If she had any reservations at all, I wouldn't have done it. I think that behind every great woman, there is a man, he added. So I may be behind her now, but I also heard a rumor that behind every great man, there is a woman. So we'll have to wait and see how it plays out. What has Judge Judy said about marriage in the past? In 2021, Judy Scheinlin told people that she believed keeping in shape was a key aspect of a happy marriage. We're both very surface people when it comes to that, she said at the time. You know if you fall instantaneously for somebody, that means there's a physical attraction, and people age, people they change, you can either do it gracefully or you can say I give up. And I, for myself, I said, I choose to not give up, I choose to stay fit, she explained. So don't even think about anything but staying, looking as good as you can possibly look at this stage in your life. Judy and Jerry Scheindlin shared children from their previous marriages. According to E! News, Judy Scheindlin, who was previously married to a judge named Ronald Levy, has two children, Jamie Hartwright, 58, and Adam Levy, 56. Jerry Scheindlin is the father to Gregory Scheindlin, 60, Jonathan Scheindlin, 57, and Nicole Scheindlin, 56. Judge Judy says she turned down the opportunity to make a cameo in Legally Blonde. Judy Scheindlin, the TV judge in the series Juby Justice, told E! News that missing out on a role in the iconic film was her one regret. Anyone who's caught a glimpse of Judy Scheinlin in her TV courtroom would appreciate she's not the kind of person to make an empty threat. Her husband and fellow judge, Jerry Scheinlin, learned this the hard way 30 years ago, when he called her bluff during a rocky moment in their marriage. It was 1990, and the Judge Judy star was grieving the death of her beloved father. Unsatisfied with her husband's efforts at taking care of her, she gave him an ultimatum. She said to me, If you can't maneuver this, I'm going to divorce you. Jerry recalls in the book What Makes a Marriage Last per E News. They've now been married for 46 years in total, and Judy says there's a key that's helped them maintain a happy marriage. You don't spend 24 hours together because that's deadly, she told E. News this week. Jerry just celebrated his 90th birthday, and I still like to look at him when he walks in the room. That's a key.